you, did you smoke something before you came on? <laughs> no. Are you what? okay? <laughs> no, no. Are you Wait, fine? what? No, I'm serious. Is this a fucking like a rock band or is this an orchestra? No, no, no. It's like. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I registered what was happening because there was not an ounce of panic on my face. He was blue. I've never seen that in a person. Before. I'll look that up too. <laughs> I, can't Keep no, I, 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 I believe you. I don't. I mean, I've saved people from me killing them. <laughs> like, <laughs> you've just made like, a decision to not no, kill no, them. No, no, no. All right, let's come in. All right. Uh, welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. Welcome back. I already cracked my can, so. I was waiting for, like, the ASMR of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I love ASMR. I, I, I am an, I am a... I am a, a, a proud ASMR listener. I was really hoping to drink water, and then you gave me this. So, you like ASMR, Danny? I love ASMR. I think it's amazing. I like I, I use it to fall asleep. I like ASMR role plays. I like people pretending they're my doctor. We we're, were talking about this. It's oddly sensual. Is oh. the because you've been paying like what is it like? Uh, well, people play like power wash simulator, and you've been playing uh -huh. this like house, house flipper. Simulator. Is yeah. that like ASMR for your eyes? Like, is it? Satisfying to see the the power wash, like the sidewalk becoming. I mean, green. I think there's definitely a like there's there there's definitely a like a huge huge need for content that can be on in the background. Like Netflix has to have, sh have shows like that. Hulu has to have shows like that, and people tune into ASMR and also just certain streams just yeah, so that they can sure. hear stuff in the background, something's going on, and but they can alone. also be scrolling through Instagram. Yeah, over yes. over uh, the Christmas, Netflix released like a Yule Log just on on, a, on like a four-hour thing and, or whatever. And, and you know, you can also, I mean, the Yule Log's been going on for for decades on, t on you know, YouTube. used to be on TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? TV. Yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, you just, you just, it's just something that I feel like there's a need. And also, when, when I'm playing something like House Simulator, it's a little... You know, there's not as much. There's there's more chat because people are talking about you know whatever because you don't need to necessarily like focus in on the game. You know, right, right. You're not listening to a story very intently. You're just like you know, I'm painting but, these walls and you're talking about how your day is going. So then, what is? Why do you listen to ASMR? Like, what's that for? Well, ASMR. There's like the 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 main achievement for a lot of people with ASMR is like tingles. So there's this thing from ASMR called the tingle. We're like, ew, dude. We're, we're like, dude. All right, let's and, move on. And, yeah, I don't no, want to no, hear no, about no, this. No, no. No, and I don't hear tingles, bro. And, and everybody has like different ASMR triggers that give them like different, like some people like, oh, this trigger gives me like crazy tingles. And it's basically like this, like, <laughs> it's, I just, it's a lot of, it, lot of it's words. It's basically like this <laughs> feeling in your, in your body. Head. Oh. And like, you know, a lot of times it usually only happens when personally, when I wear in like earphones, but it's like this tingle in your head and it's kind of just like a, like a shiver, and it feels good. That sounds terrible. Also, Danny's wearing a gold bracelet right now. Did I see that through the sleeve? I always wear this. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you don't. Always? I mean, not, not, not to every podcast, but, like, usually when we go out, I was wearing it with – I was wearing it on to our little holiday dinner. I was wearing it with everything. So this is a special occasion. This is a special occasion for you. No, I mean, but sometimes, sometimes I wear it uh, – Can someone go back – Tell me how many episodes Danny's worn that, because I bet you it's less than three. No, 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 for sure. I, for the past few months, I haven't been wearing it as much, but I'd say maybe go back. <laughs> this man. Maybe, maybe. He rides unicycles and wears bracelets. Maybe go back, uh, I don't know, three months. That's not all the time. That's immediately no, but, not all but, the time. But, but I'm saying, like, I wear it very often, for sure. So much so that this is actually the bracelet I bought to be Tony Soprano for Halloween. <laughs> And uh, it's I bought it off Amazon, sixteen dollars. Still looks great, and I love it. I'm thinking about buying a real one. Danny's got fucking ice on his wrist. Danny's dude. got ice on his wrist. Yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised you never noticed. I mean, the fact I've noticed, but the fact that you've said now it's all I can notice. Yeah, now how can you not see it? And also, you've said I wear it all the time, and you re recollect it to four months ago. <laughs> also, the thing is, thing is, it is it is very loose. So very often this happens. Right, that's you what I'm saying. It. it was like you were kind of hiding it, but not. It goes all the way down to this part of my wrist, which I don't know if this is too loose. That's Am very I loose. To tighten it. Yeah, it's very loose. Should it be? It should stop like here, right? Well, it should like just be around your wrist, really. Yeah, like it should stop here. So I, I maybe I need a link taken in. Yeah, I have a, I have a, I got a watch for some birthday that I didn't get a link taken out, and it just falls to here. See, I'm not a watch guy. I can't have anything bigger than than like a Fitbit. Like I used to wear a Fitbit a little bit. Even that's a little too bulky for me. Fitbit is the, like the thinnest thing ever. I know, but it's probably as thick as that. No, it's not. 
So, uh, they have models that are. Oh, no, that's, no, that's, I, that's I, a I, screen. I had the model that was no screen, just the four dots. Then it's just it's, as thick as that. Yeah, but it's also thicker this oh, thicker way. long ways. Yeah. So Danny this likes is, them thicker this I, but, but I can't do watches. There's just too much on my wrist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, wow. I can't really hear. So it kind of feels like I'm talking like... Uh, you ever have earphones in, or like uh, ear plugs in and you're talking and you can like kind of hear yourself in your head a weird way? I, did you smoke something before you came on? <laughs> no. Are you what? okay? <laughs> no, no. Are Wait, you well, fine? no, I'm serious. That that, you're, that that throws off, your hearing throws off your balance incredibly. That's true. That's I had, true. That's true. I had, that's I had, that's I had, not what it, It's something similar. I, I, had, <laughs> I had one ear that was clogged the other day. Right. And I swear to God, I would rather be Blind. hard of hearing in both ears than just one of them, because one mm. of my one of my hearing passages were blocked was blocked, and it was my balance was off the entire day. My whole world was like fucked. So I'd rather both of them just be kaput. And you're saying you have naturally good balance where an ear messed up would actually affect it. Yeah, that's probably why you couldn't ride the unicycle. Yeah, the that's probably why you couldn't ride the unicycle. Yeah, the ear. We, the, the unicycle, big video here. We, we, you know, a lot of people were talking about it. <laughs> um, you know, we'd be remiss not to mention the fact that world-renowned expert Tommy Unicycles commented. <laughs> I didn't even know this guy existed. He's been doing it for 37 yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, Tommy. And he, he, he is claiming that there was some kind of sabotage. I mean, I put it together, so it would just be a mistake by me. Right. So I don't know if I agree with him that it's sabotage. But, you know, I mean, there's definitely some – this, this whole saga isn't over. Right. So, so let's, say, let's say that he said that unicycle is unrideable, right? Uh, let's just say he like said Like anybody that. in the world. Right. Anybody in the world couldn't ride that unicycle. Let's say that. Now, there's this weird part at the very end of the video uh -huh. where you admit to have never riding it. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that explain from Tommy Unicycles? Um, you know what? I actually reviewed the tapes, and uh, if we were going by NFL rules, I would be in concussion protocol. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think I hit, I, hit, I hit my head, and I was wearing a helmet, thank <laughs> God. I, my, my skull might have been cracked if I wasn't wearing that helmet. But I was definitely rattled around. If you asked me what year it is, I might have said 2035. <laughs> no, he, he's not subject to any of that being used against him. Yeah, right, I mean, right. I was, I was he, definitely mildly concussed <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, I mean, you know, it's hard, it's, it, it's hard looking on video and seeing something you say and going, That's, that was a lie. Yeah, like word for word. Yeah. Every word it's of that hard. sentence had to be a lie. But, <laughs> you know, it was a funny video. I don't, by the way... I don't know why I had so much change in my pocket. <laughs> Can we dude, talk about that? Dude, dude, if you watch the video in the slow the slow mo of him falling, coins just <laughs> fly out of his pocket like a cartoon. It's it's up. It's the video I, right before. I this. honestly wish, like, you know, that was that was not production secret. I wish we could take credit for that. Like, Danny, put a bunch of change in your pocket <laughs> so that when you so that if you fall, it's like Sonic. Springs. If you fall, it's gonna it's gonna, they're gonna go. We but we did not plan that at all. And I don't even usually use cash, so I don't know how there was so much coin. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why there was so much coin in my pockets. <laughs> I, I haven't, and I feel like you're the same. I haven't had even coins in my pocket <laughs> for, like, years. And you happen to pick this day. I know, I know. It was crazy. I didn't even notice that they fell out of your pocket. I was editing the whole thing. I didn't even notice till I watched it on YouTube. And I saw the coins, and I cried. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear you hear them bounce. You hear them bounce. And the Discord was like, "Wait, you didn't add the coin sounds in post?" I was like, "No, that's all raw." Yeah, I mean, what a what a comedic, uh, terrible, a terrible uh, display of Danny's lying. It was. I'm pretty sure we got to try it next. By the way, I'm not trying that thing. You're not trying the. Unicycle? I'm not popped on. I told you that he would want to try. I'm not. Well, JT that. JT has like some, Skip, some like balanced chops. You know, like skills. He's, sure. he's, you, you he's do, pretty you athletic. Do, you he do does that waterboard surf. Thing. True. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, yeah, I'll but give it a shot. Are, do you want him? I think I think we're gonna wake up and the tire slashed because there's no way <laughs> he would want you to do it well. There's no I'm, way I'm gonna I'm, do it well. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but, but I, you could maybe do it. I might all, be able to. I, I there's it, it, I I want anybody and everybody to be good to at succeed. unicycling. I mean, truly <laughs> succeed. No, no, no. <laughs> this is narrow that down. I've, 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 <laughs> I've been I've been I've been I've been finding this like niche community of unicyclists, like Tommy unicycles, like Tommy unicycles, and I and we really it's 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 not a competition. It's just love of the uni, love of the uni. And are these people are they like oh it's so much more efficient than a bike? I can store it in half the space. I can, are, are they like no, uh, they're just weird? Are they unicycle superi superiority people or are they? Um, I mean it's definitely 
you can just it's definitely more compact than the bike. All right. Well, I'll put it out there since no one else wants to. If you ride a unicycle unironically <laughs> to places, you're a loser. Well, let's just let's just get that. Whoa. Let's just get that. Piggy boys do not endorse that opinion. Piggy just... boys do not endorse Tommy. that opinion. I've, I've been we've been DMing Tommy unicycles. We're gonna have him on after you've said this. Let's just. He's not even gonna want to come. Let's on. just. Oh, what a shame. I'll say it again. For losers. <laughs> Don't say it again. <laughs> For losers. That's like we all think it. Let's just. It takes an amazing amount of core strength. I bet Tommy Unicycles has great abs. I'm, I mean, I, he's probably 50s if he's been doing it for 30 seconds. I know years. for a fact Tommy Unicycles does not have good abs. <laughs> I know for a fact he does not. Okay. But, 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 he, he certainly has good core strength. What's his, what's his Instagram, so. by the way? Uh, roaming Wheels, I, I saw think it, it is. It's so weird. He's 37 years, and he spelt roaming wrong. That's weird. Oh, it's like someone <laughs> someone at the table is really terrible <laughs> spelling. No, I mean it's just probably I don't I have no idea. Who's, I mean this guy is a fucking yeah, we know you don't. Uh, frankly this guy is a freak who is you know is I, I mean uh, you know he's he's a unicycle man. He's got to be a little odd. You're telling yeah. me and 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 you know I mean that's just probably a classic case of Instagram username not being able to. There's there's, there's people that don't know listening to this this far that Danny is Tommy Unicycle. Whoa! Whoa! What are you talking about? He's been doing this for 37 years. I'm f- 25. And yeah, so so what? I like Tommy Unicycle. He called me handsome. Is, 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 am I, am I going to shit on the guy like you? No. Oh, sorry. I mean, he's, a, he's an odd duck. Yeah, yeah. One of his pictures is a three wheeled unicycle, and it says, My no. kind of threesome. <laughs> Isn't that just a tricycle? No, it's no, no, they're, they're, they're three stacked. stacked unicycles. It would Jeez. not work. Oh, God. I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask him. But either way, I, I don't know. Let's, 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 we're not giving this guy free press. Oh, sorry. You know, it's like, um, like uh, someone who rides a unicycle. You can picture that person. Mm. You know, it's like someone that orders, like, a mint chocolate chip milkshake. Like you could picture that. That sounds person. amazing. First yeah, ex- of all. yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, just all chip. all terrible people. Like all what? real losers. Okay, no, you're not gonna get anyone on board with you now. Yeah, that's not a good take. Well, I know you two like. I'm saying you two are losers for liking mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip yeah, sucks. I know, but that's just not true. Um, I'm in between two ice cream elitists. Mint chocolate chip sucks. There's a guy from where I, where I used to live, or just you know where I, my parents. <laughs> where house. you would gather. He would he would just ride. Throughout the streets on a unicycle, and I forget what he was doing. Is he playing the guitar or something? I think he would ride and play the guitar, and he would just ride around like, you know where I'm from, but he would just ride around there and do that. <laughs> and I'm picturing just a loser. I guess. I mean, I guess he's kind of a street performer, but at the same time, like, he wasn't, he was going fast. No, you wouldn't be able to give him money if you tried. <laughs> he was just struggling like, yeah. Well, there's actually been a a real resurgence of. The unicycles via the electric unicycle. Those things are super popular. You know the thing you put in between Talk about your the feet? one wheel? No, no, no. The thing you put in between your feet looks like a round kind of briefcase. Put it in between your feet, boom, go. Yeah, it's like a one wheel. No, one wheel is like a skateboard. I know what sideways. a one I know what a one wheel is. Also one wheel shut down uh, shut down, I think. Because it kept exploding. Exploding, yeah. But 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 no, the, the that is probably the most ridden form of unicycle right now. Very popular. I gotta look that up. It's a one wheel. Yeah. It's not a one wheel. It's a one wheel. I know about? it's not a one wheel, but if it's an electric thing that you stand on, just because like where your feet stand, it's not a unicycle. The, the one wheel is a unicycle. Then no, what are you talking about? Do you actually sit on it like a seat or the standing? There's thing? a seat. They're, they they also have standing versions. But first of all, a one wheel a one wheel is a, is, is a skateboard. No, I know what the one wheel is. I'm so saying to, to, to say every one wheel thing is just a one wheel. That's ridiculous. It pretty much yeah. Like, it's not like a one wheel. All things that stick together are Velcro. It's all the same. It's 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 not it's not like a one wheel. One wheels are very cool. They're actually one wheels can go off road because it's one big wheel, so it can go over a lot of like you know things that a normal. Yeah, our our friend had a one wheel, and every time we saw him, there was just a new scrape on his body, and it's because <laughs> apparently if the one wheels like go past a certain mile per hour, they just stop. Like, the, they just go dead. That's insane. And, the, and he would just fly off every time because he didn't, didn't understand the speed. And he also always had to put it on the charger. I have heard that. But but people who ride them well, it's pretty... I mean, they go fucking fast. I'm surprised... Those things go, like, 30 miles an hour. I'm surprised you're such a staunch unicycle defender, Danny, because I, I think anything like that, one-wheel unicycle, like any weird form of transportation, I feel like you would be too embarrassed to use... Oh, he would never. In use. No, you see, I've always been like, I mean, I have no idea how to skateboard, but as soon as like the boosted board came out, I was like, that's fucking cool. Yeah, but that just looks like a skateboard. I'm saying like, once you, if you're riding like a unicycle around town, that's going to draw a lot more attention than a skateboard. True. A unicycle specifically is, 
it, it looks worse and it's also not efficient. But I've always been interested in personal, like, I, I think there's a real lack of, like, a good, efficient, compact, personal vehicle. Transporta yeah. Like, personal transportation system. You know Huge why, need. You know why there's a difference between a bike and a unicycle, or, like, just anything? or I mean, why, One you kind of look cool riding, or, or like the just, other is yeah, a skateboard. Or just like why, like, a unicycle is worse. It's like, if I saw someone riding a bike and fall... I'd say, ah, oh, you're, you know, you're an idiot, man. What happened? But, but if, <laughs> but if, if I saw a guy on a unicycle ride by me and fall, a part of me would just immediately go like, that's, what you, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, that's just, just your own. That's, that's just, just your own. Biases. You gotta talk about this to your therapist, man. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. Seriously, like some guy on a unicycle I mean, just listen, really gave me a I bad am, day. I am a huge fan of bikes. I love bikes. I love riding bikes. But every single bike I've ever owned has been stolen, and I don't leave them unlocked. Do you think you unicycle gets do you th stolen? Do you think you were targeted? No. I, I, I just you think thought you were you were getting targeted by drive-by shootings. You don't <laughs> think you were getting targeted from a bike thief? No, because by, by bike thieves are, are rampant in New York City. The cops obviously do not care, as we talked about <laughs> last time. And it's just it's just, it's just like it's an easy thing to steal. No one's gonna track it. You can sell it for a quick buck. Bikes are expensive. Yeah, but I feel like these days, can't you just like fucking? Attach an air tag to it or something. You can, but then, yeah, you, like, but but then, the but then, what do you do? You know, you call the cops. I know exactly where my bike is. I guess that's true. Help me catch these. <laughs> then, then what do you do? It's like I have the exact location of where it is. Yeah, but it's also if I showed the cops but, the exact location and they still didn't help me. Now, now I'd be upset. No, they probably wouldn't help you. Still, I don't think they would. You'd be surprised. My, I know people who have done that exact scenario, but with a phone today. Find my iPhone says it's here. Someone stole it. Cops go knock on the door, ask for it. They they even asked to search the home. Hmm, I feel like Th then again, care. these weren't New York City cops. I don't know. And also, I feel like people care about phones more. Well, yeah, more expensive. Typically, more expensive. Yeah. Well, you'd be surprised. Maybe not. No, I mean, yeah, typically. I mean, they are fucking expensive ass bikes. Expensive ass bikes. Thousands of dollars. I don't think I've ever owned a bike, so. Can't, that's what, you don't know how that's what I'm saying. I can't relate. So if I was a cop, I'd be like, oh, this snot no kids has, has a oh, bike. Oh, man. I mean, I love, I used to love riding around bikes as a kid. Such a great, such a great vehicle. I mean, it's very efficient. Didn't you use, True. you got them stolen all the time. You oh, used yeah. bike locks. Didn't they just, they just wire, kind of, like wire yeah. cutters well, or whatever? Well, he's also very bad. an angle he, grinder. I, 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 he, was, or, uh, he was also very bad at locking it up. I'm pretty sure one time he just, they just, all they had to do was like take off the seat and get the bike or something. Well, that's just every bike. No, Excuse that's me? not true. But now you put it through a, but now I mean you're it supposed to put it you. through. You're the, supposed to put it through the yeah, frame. The frame, but they can, but 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 no, you're 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 totally misremembering this. I <laughs> I I put it through the frame and they stole the seat. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there wasn't, there wasn't, uh, there was. They didn't steal they the took bike. What they could get. They, 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 they were like, "What can we get?" And that, that happens all the time. If you, yeah. if you properly like up your bike and they can't get through it, they'll just steal the wheels and the seats. How much does a seat go for on the bike black market? I don't know. Probably not much, but it's something. You can't be more than twenty bucks. Well, you could get good, you know, good, you get, you good get a wheels. Meal. Good wheels. You can you, you can sell for a like hundred bucks. Dude, my friend. Uh, was went to go see the new Batman movie, uh, in the in the theater. That movie's like three hours and you know very not great. And then that movie was fantastic. Yeah, well you're a Batman blower, it doesn't count. And then he came out, all his tires were gone. On his car. On his car, all his tires are gone. If I saw and I went to see a three hour movie, at that point I don't care what the movie is. If it's good or bad, I don't Cinder care. Blocks? Yeah, is and it's like blocks? you come out. I think it was just on the street or whatever. Whatever it was on, I, I don't remember. I just know that all the tires are gone. I don't know the exact what the the mechanics of stealing it. Yeah, I got wheel locks. I'd be upset. You don't think they could get through wheel locks? I mean, I'm sure they can, but it's definitely harder. To Adding make. another layer helps. Yeah, another it's... layer. Of, oh, now they need this. Yeah, now, now maybe it can't be quick. Now you know? instead of the pool of forty people that would steal it, now there's only like ten. Yeah, and which you might, helps. Uh, every every def every layer of defense helps. Every Was defense this the movie theater near here. Huh? The movie theater near here. Uh, I think so. It wasn't in the paid part. If I paid for parking in that. Oh app, no, no, not here, not here. I'm saying okay. like just one of them around here. Not not speaking the one of uh, stealing. Did you watch uh, Kaleidoscope on Netflix? It's good. I don't. I don't. The, the whole premise of this show, this new show on Netflix, Kaleidoscope, it's with the guy from Gus Fring from Breaking Bad, and the whole premise of the show is that there's eight episodes and you can watch them in any order. Mm -hmm. So it's right. about a heist, and you can watch the show in any order, but it always ends with White, which is the heist episode. But that's another thing where it's like, uh, people can people just make a good show anymore? Like, why do they have to throw all these fucking tricks at me? Because like it's so dumb. Because that gets people to watch it. I so I mean, just, just if you make a good show, people will watch. That's just how it works too. Yeah, and I, I I thought it was actually a very interesting, like you know, gimmick. 
Like it, it, it is cool, but the 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 structure that they put around it, like that 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 format, definitely hurt the writing of the show mm. because every. Every episode, they can't like you know it's a heist, so there's you know a lot of uh, crazy things happen, but they can't like emotionally build the plot as well because you have to leave it kind of ambiguous because this could be the first episode you're seeing or the last episode. And the right. different uh, the episodes are different colors. Yeah. yeah. So it's reservoir. It's dogs. like reservoir dogs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's actually there's actually there's like a bunch of a bunch of uh, like you know this is how I viewed it because Netflix gives a different viewing order to every person. And so it's like this. Oh, is, Netflix and, automatically gives you. Yeah. Okay. And so like this is this is this is how I do it. And uh, one of the ways of viewing it is called the Reservoir Dogs, where you just watch the show without the heist. You don't even watch the heist because in Reservoir Dogs you don't really see the heist. Mm-hmm. Steve Buscemi's in that. He is. Good for him. Isn't it crazy that I don't? Well, I don't know what what happened, but isn't it crazy that he was a firefighter to like forty seven and then just actor? Isn't that yeah. crazy how that works? Was there overlap? I don't think so. Was he like acting and fighting fires? No, uh, um, he comes and saves you. Go, hey, he was, I know he was, you. He, he was an Rosa actor Dorm. and then went to nine eleven and like the, you know, the site, and was like cleaning up and doing you know firefighter jobs and like totally for like a couple of weeks was like a firefighter again. Mm-hmm. I had heard that. Once you're a firefighter, you know, <clears throat> nobody hates firefighter. Nobody hates firefighter. Oh yeah, well, apparently they box. <laughs> like, like secretly they box. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you secretly? Mean? It's like they, like the two In the firehouses. Yeah, the firehouses and the the p- police, the police stations. They just box. I can see that. And the normal, the layman folks, the layman folks aren't allowed to go see. Isn't it funny that, like, the army navy football game exists? It's like, why are we putting? We, we are funding a coach for a football team. For our military, it doesn't make any sense. Well, you can't get more. <laughs> you can't get. To be fair, you can't get more American than branches of the military playing one of the most American. Sports. No, I, I mean, I get it, but it's Let just. But it's just. It's just so strange to me that there is a, a a wing of the military that's like, oh yeah, we're we're well, football it's, trainers. Well, do you, do you think it's West Point, which is a college, so they have a football. Do you, wait, team. do you think they like they hire like a military? I mean, that's what, coach. Yeah. Obviously, they just get someone from one of the military schools. Yeah, but still, it's like no, it's West Point. They're military people, but isn't it? Isn't it just West Point? West Point is the military, is the, like the army college. Yeah, okay. and it's just their football team, right? I'm not sure how this. I'm, works. Pretty, I'm pretty sure. It's just, I thought it was an. I thought it was an, a, a army sponsored football. Team. <laughs> no, I mean, it, like I guess it kind of is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it kind of is. Where is the? It's like it's the Naval Academy. I don't know the Navy. What's the Navy College Maritime? I don't. Know. So, so you, so we, th- you thought. I, I'm not we saying think. you're wrong. I'm not saying we think. not me, not me. Don't no, put me no, in. A, we, we all think. Don't, not whatever. Me all. I'm sure Army Navy. I'm saying so. You think? Hold on. Let me. No, 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 no. Don't look it up. 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 See what Danny thought. Don't look it up. I'm saying I want to ask him some questions. Hold on. So you. <laughs> That's what I thought. I mean, no, no. So that's you, what it's called. It's not called West Point versus Maritime. It's called Army Navy. So, so, so my my question is more about the recruitment. Of the the players, so you think like no, they, it's just people that were in the army. So, no, I'm saying so you think they like they have tryouts like in the army, like they take like the best of the best, like oh he throws a grenade really good, he could be the quarterback and shit. I mean, I don't think it's like exactly like one to one like that, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was like that, that. That would that would probably form a pretty. Good I mean, the navy team. the navy has no, a, it would not. You don't think that taking the best of every position in the um, every football position from the army from like the millions of people in the army, you could form a good football team. Not NFL level, obviously. Uh, well, th- well, then, I mean, yeah. I mean, we like anyone could form a good football team with that. But I'm saying, like, do you think the best, or do you think the worst? Oh, NFL- now I need to know. This. Right, <laughs> well, you look it up. Me and JT will talk. <laughs> do, you, do, do you think the worst NFL team can beat, or can beat? Let's say. All right, I'll rephrase it. Let's uh, say we have. Yes. Let's what? say we have the whole army to, to, but like they've never played football. Maybe oh, we maybe. have the whole army to scout positions from. Okay. Do you think that whatever team you can put together with them can beat the worst NFL professional team? No, no. I, I don't. I don't even think the the best college team could beat the worst NFL team. No, no, that's well. I think the uh, the best college team. Can, I don't think they can either. The best college team. I think essentially it's all the best football players from around the country, right? Or or some of them, right? So that could beat the Army too. I think. So the the army just can't play football. So the army navy game is West is is the military academy at West Point and navy midshipmen in Maryland. That's college. So it is. So so it is. So it is, so, so it is college football. I thought there was. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was. You know, 
You I, thought, you, I thought it was actually because, like, you know, there's um, there's the Marine Band, or there is there is like like, you like, know, like firemen's like, versus policemen like, basketball game, right? Yeah, but 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 there's like a Marine Band. Those aren't college kids. Those are Marines who are in a band that is sponsored by the U.S. military. <laughs> I, I never, I don't know that as the Marine Band. The Marine Band is I a very, you. very, fa- very famous. Marine band. I can't trust you. <laughs> well, I'll look that up too. I can't. Keep oh, no, I, 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 I believe you. I don't. I, I don't. Because yeah. like, I don't think the just Marines are that nerdy. But they, they have too much shit to do. Like, have, why would they make a they, band? They're all fucking nerds. <laughs> okay. The United States Marine Band is the premier band of the United States Marine Corps, established by Act of Congress on July 11th, 1798. It's the oldest of this, the United States military bands. But this has nothing this doesn't <laughs> say this and a, a professional music musical organization of the United States. That doesn't so say So it's not a college. It's it, they, they are marine Wait, it doesn't say. Hold on. Is this, a, is this a fucking like a rock band or is this an orchestra? No, no, no. It's like. <laughs> it doesn't say they're marines in any no, of those it, sentences. It, it, it does. <laughs> it didn't say they're marines with of anything. Of the written. United States Marine Corps. So? That's just the band that represents them. That doesn't mean that they're marines. They're marines. <laughs> <laughs> Danny reads like one sentence and goes, I got it. Uh, band members serve under a four year contract as an active duty enlisted marine. But, and then they, that, so are they taking people who are already Marines and doing this? Or it sounds like that is their job for four years. Yeah, like they, they, like they're allowed to be called a Marine if they go do that. I mean, I get maybe. It says, it, say, it does say, although military musicians rarely see active combat, on some occasions they may be deployed into conflict zones. But a lot of Marines don't see active combat. It's true. So I think they are just Marines. Hmm. Dude, true, fucking true. Marine just fucking ACDC in the middle of the battlefield or some shit. You just gotta be careful because you know, calling them not Marines could seriously offend uh, some people. You know. Well, that's why we we're deciding if they were or not. If, right, for, for, like, from, all if for, from all I'm hearing, I'm getting Marines. Also, I'm sure someone's gonna be. Like, My cousin was in it. And he was right, 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 right. And like, if, no, if, that's if, not what if anybody it's knows, a, obviously we're just doing quick research. Yeah, here. It's if really, anybody knows anything, <laughs> yeah, then put the, it down in the comments. It's nothing against them. The problem is more we don't trust him. That's no, really I mean, I, I mean, and and it kind of makes sense, you know. Like if you think about old war, there's the drummer boy. Sure. Like like music, sure. music and war has always kind of gone together. Yeah. You need you need. War. And production. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing, man. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway. Just went down the wrong pipe. Oh, you know what videos I love watching? Ever see Stolen Valor videos? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like people who dress up as <laughs> army veterans. Those, those. At, at, at like a <laughs> To get like a 5% discount. Yeah, those uh, videos are really like They're sad. just like panhandling for money. And then you have this like very scary. Marine, actual, like ma- military actual member. Actual service member who's like, stolen valor, stolen valor. What was your, what was your, your unit number? <laughs> <laughs> your badge is supposed to be three centimeters to the left. And you, and you know what's annoying? There are people that like defend the guy getting yelled at. It's ridiculous, and like, like even to the to to like the service member that's yelling at him, and I was just like, bro, everyone yell at this guy. What a yeah. what a piece, what a terrible person to do that. There's another like version though that's probably harder to catch. Is like these guys who maybe served in the reserve for two years, and but and then claim you know Purple Heart this that claim like uh, yeah fought in Vietnam saved the whole squadron whatever. Yeah, well, well the thing is, it, to catch. the thing is, it it it, it's, it must work so easily. On, like regular, you know, just like citizens. I wouldn't know because if, if someone comes up to me and says, "Oh, I got a purple heart. I was in Vietnam. This, that, and the other," it's like I am. I am in no position to call him out on that <laughs> right, right. and say, "I don't think you actually were." It's like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, it's like that. So heart. I'm gonna say, "Okay, get that, thank you for your service." I don't know. Yeah, that heart looks a little maroon than purple. Well, it. But that's why I agree. It's probably harder. I to have ca- a distant cousin that has a purple heart. And my fucking, I swear to God. This As is, a medical condition or the, the yeah, army? Yeah, yeah. It's he's, like blue balls. Yeah. No, um, no it, it's, and I told this to my to my uh, social studies teacher, and she said, nobody nobody has, no, he has a medal of honor, actually. I'm sorry. I told him he has a medal of honor, and my, and my, my uh, whatchamacallit, my social studies teacher said, no one who is alive that has a medal of honor. And I went, that's that mostly true. Not true. There are many people who have medals of honor that are alive, and you can look him up. I don't know if I should dox him. 
Don't but, dox him. It's okay. I mean, it's like public record, I guess. But they don't know the name of him. True. But I'll show you. This is a certifiable. This is this is uh, this is like a, my dad's cousin. I think most, I have a medal. The majority of people who oh, get like a he gave me like a uh, like a copy medal. You know, like he gets like ones that he can like give to people. And he, he chose you. Yeah, I mean, I'm his relative. So he gave one to every relative. Dude, he's, he's actually... What a, is it? Is it a cousin? He's actually a fucking... He's my dad's cousin. How old is he? He's actually a fucking badass. He was in... Of course he's... Yeah, well, he fucking has a Medal of Honor. Yeah, he fucking... Well, I don't know. I guess that's a, a, a controversial war. It's all right. But he, we- like, <laughs> but, he, but he, like... But he, like, fucking went into a... But he, like, went into a fucking foxhole <laughs> and saved a bunch of people... And he like killed a bunch of soldiers, and then like saves people, and, and like put put them on his shoulders, and like brought into a plane. Fucking crazy. And you're related to that. Yes. He must be proud. You think you've ever like indirectly or directly saved someone's life? Oh, I have. Oh. I have. I've I've uh, gave someone the Heimlich, and they they lived. Really? Yeah. Who? Actually, Ray. He's been on the podcast a long time ago. He was choking right over there. And what, punch oh. him in the stomach? No, no, no. I got behind him, and he was like, he came up to me. He was blue, and he was like, he couldn't talk. And I got behind him. I was like, I got you, bitch. And then I pumped him, and he threw everything up. So maybe I did it wrong, but I hit something right, and everything came out. And he lived. And then he did thanked me. Did you break me. his ribs? No, I didn't break his ribs. That's CPR. It's not the Heimlich. Oh, yeah. God, how many times do we have to talk about this? Well, it can happen in both. It, yeah. But it's supposed to happen. It's well, I didn't even like. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I registered what was happening because there was not. An ounce of panic on my face. He was blue. I'd never seen that in a person before. That's incredible. And it, well, I didn't. Uh, maybe I was in shock, and I was like, "Just hey, spin around." You're a hero. Pop. How old are you guys? Fifteen. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I wasn't a kid. I, I probably didn't know what to do. Uh, and then there was also another time where we were in the basement, <clears throat> and one of our other friends was choking, and he did this whole thing, and he looked at Danny, and Danny just screamed. Is that true? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> that's that's our friends in a nutshell. If he he obviously did not communicate effectively that he was choking. Well, you were screaming in terror. And did somebody come over? No, he had to do it himself. Nobody came over because of the scream. No, so it wasn't even an appropriate scream. I was there is ways to do it yourself. I think you're actually supposed to like ball up your fist and like punch yourself in the stomach. No, I think you have to lean over a chair. Oh yeah, like, and you're supposed to like pump yourself kind of into run a into a desk. Same person. <clears throat> Stop choking. No, no, it was it was it was it was it was Robert. It was Robert. He was eating <laughs> a, a Napoleon. <laughs> Either yeah. way, yes. Have you? Mm, I mean, we've all probably, probably indirectly. Not. Yeah, you wouldn't know it. Actually, if technically, technically, if we all think we've indirectly saved someone, that means we might have also. That that was my other question. I didn't want to ask it, but I was like. But it's nature. It's like if you believe in God, you got to believe in the devil, right? Yeah. My original question was going to be, do you think you've ever indirectly or directly killed or saved someone? And I just changed it to saved. I'm going to say no. The only thing I can think of is. Uh, which Which way? Saved. Okay. Is like <laughs> Danny's I, in deep thought. Th- and I obviously I have no idea if this would have killed him, but uh I told my little cousin, like little little cousin, I made him wear a seatbelt like minutes before we got in a crash that totaled the car. That's it. How old was he? I, I was really I was really young and he's my little cousin, so oh, man, I must have been like ten. He must have been like five. Oh, I mean, I've saved people from me killing them. <laughs> like, <laughs> you've just made like, a decision to not no, kill them. No, no, no. Like, like I was like, every like, day like, I like, save like, everybody. Like, I've been dry. Like, I have been driving, and there's like somebody, <laughs> somebody who is obviously not looking, and goes to cross the street, and I honk him with my horn. I'm like, get out of the fucking way, because I would have then killed you. Danny, that yeah. doesn't I mean, count. I, well, I think it counts for something. That doesn't count. Why if not? I if I go to the grocery store and I grab a knife, I don't. I don't then like go. I just saved you because I could have killed you. But that doesn't count. But if you did do that to somebody, it kind of does count. Please help me. I think it counts. <laughs> God damn it! It does count. I mean, I, I had the right away. It wasn't in the. I wasn't. No, the if, if it's not a situation where okay, like ninety percent of people or ninety percent of scenarios, this guy actually dies. But thanks to Danny's skilled driving, honk. like he actually. <laughs> no, the well, went, ah! well-timed honk. Well-timed honk. And you're saying you were moving. Yeah, I was already I was already moving actively, and he was about to cross the street, and so you hit him with the honk honk honk, and then phew, he goes, oh, get out of the way. I mean, I guess that counts. I guess that counts. Sometimes you got to do it. Save people. It's not easy work. It's not easy work. I can't even think of another time when I would have saved some money. I mean, it really depends how much you you actually believe in the butterfly effect, because if that's the case, everybody's killed everybody. True. Right? Isn't that what that means? Like, if I did this or something, like I killed somebody or saved mm. them. Yeah. I mean, I got our friend Charlie help while he was bleeding out on the, the floor. Sure. 
That's true. Honestly, that's like, that's a pretty direct way of. Uh, and you didn't phone, panic my, one my, bit. My phone, I was very, very much panicked, but my phone was <laughs> my phone was destroyed. That's fine. You, that's you panicked, fine. My and phone you did. was destroyed, yeah. so I flagged somebody down. and Was like, you need to call an ambulance right now. Yeah, I'd say that 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 counts. No, of course that counts. Hero, I <laughs> I should get a medal of honor. <laughs> okay, okay. Coming from the guy who just said I could kill everybody, and that counts as saving. I did not say that it's kinda, at all. That's kind of what you said. No, I didn't. It's ridiculous. So we've all saved somebody, maybe. Yeah. That's maybe. good to know. And maybe killed someone. And maybe killed somebody. Well, who have you saved? <laughs> Put it in the comments down below. I think that's where we're going to end this one, huh? Uh, all right. I say we ended out with first one to finish wins. <clears throat> How much do you have left? How much do you have left? Uh, that's, that's, just do it. That's the gamble. Do it. Uh, no, you have nothing left. No, I, I do. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Oh. Oh. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> <laughs> you you really played yourself there, buddy. <laughs> that, anyone? What, what is this? <laughs> is that a racer or a driver? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You're going to get the, oh, right. get up the time. equipment wet. Oh, shit. You suck. Okay, get that paper towel. <laughs> All right, now we can end it. JT, tell them where to find you. Find me on Instagram at JTOld97, and find me streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash streaming. Daniel? You can find me at DannyIsWatching on Instagram. Also some days on Picky Boy Streaming. You can find me at Ant Prisco. Can't forget to follow. The Picky Boys Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, join the Patreon. That's it.